Hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to the Beastie Ball demo as part of the Steam Next Fest. It's uh, a game that I'm really looking forward to because it's made by the developer of Chicory and Wandersong. Uh, and they're actually running a Kickstarter right now. <laughs> We've actually already funded that. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below if you guys want to help fund the game as well. Uh, but it is a monster collection volleyball game. Yep. Which looks really cute. I can't wait to play this. Okay, begin new game. Ooh, accessibility options. Yeah, no, this works. We can we can be snaz, <laughs> but it'll all be always be a hamwick in my heart. There's a critter. Time to die. No. Come back here. Oh, look at them all. They're so cute. Hey, don't you know kids aren't supposed to be in the preserve? Well, I'll keep it a secret if you do. <laughs> Anyway, look, I found a bunch of beasties here. It's just like on TV, they want to play a game with us. You want to play them too, don't you? Which one's on your team? I love the little orange axolotl fish thing. Axolotty. Oh, it is called axolotty. Spirit focus likes to power up. Body focus is, what was it? Is it like a chicken? Chick. A yeah. A kicking chicken. Kick chicken, yeah. And then build it. Likes passing. Play with this BC? Yep. Oh, just so adorable. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go! Violence. Your axolot uh, axolotty is up to serve first. Humans stay off the court and act as coaches. Select axolotty and choose an attack. Okay, That's pep shot. fair. It's two versus one. Okay, free ball. Volley to an opponent and skip your attack. Can always be used. 40 power. Uh, attack power up to self. Okay. Those numbers are estimates about how much damage your attack will do. Pick a lane and a target. Okay, well, who who has This is going to just do way stats. more damage. Uh, let's see. Also, give me a second. Now that we're actually in game, it has gotten even louder. That's still pretty loud. There we go. Now, do you remember what their stats were? Because I know that you. you I don't I know, but it's estimating the damage is way higher over here. Yeah, yeah. Because I think if build it has the better potential to push it back. Oh, they did receive it. After your attack, you can do a defense action. Better get ready because it's now our turn to attack. Defense. Pep shot. Move block can't be used in back oh so yeah we don't know where he's going to strike do we use net rush oh is he gonna try use to dig is jazz basic hit to be no he was actually aiming at the other square but we couldn't have known oh. If you let the ball hit an undefended area, it's an automatic loss. I guess you need two beasties. Oh, another one? Okay, do over, do over. Oh, now we have Spreco. That was the one that we Must chased. Must have the ball to do this. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything here. Because I don't know where they're aiming is part of it. Well, now that it's back in there... Or what they might want to do is, I, I don't, they're not close enough to the net to spike down, are they? We'll see. Looks like it's not going. We'll have to figure it out. There you go. Okay. It's Let's now your turn to see. attack. Follow the ball to get it under control, then hit it back. Also, beasties give and take boosted damage when they're at the net. Try attacking from the front to do a bigger hit. Okay, so volley. you probably want to volley over to Axolotti, and then you want to move forward, ideally, move. so that you can spike. Okay, we could do a pep shot. Oh. You can't volley again? No, I, uh... Okay, there we go. Oh, I suppose you can only volley once before it has to be hit over, right? Yeah. So you can volley... There. So now we and volley. then they can try spiking. Then we do the pep shot for massive damage. Oh, they wiped out. That's BC Ball. BCs all love to play this. They're basically born for it. And there they go. Bye. I'm Riley, by the way. 
I never saw another kid in the preserve. You live close by? Do you want to watch videos with me? Oh, my cursor's on screen. Oh, good. Music's by Lena Rain again. Hmm? How do you buy Shell in the Pit? Yep. Shell in the Pit did the uh, full soundtrack for Wonder Song, but Lena Rain came in for the Chicory soundtrack, from mm -hmm. what I remember. Wait, wait, wait. You weren't watching. I'm rewinding. See? That's how Red won the Crown series. My family watches every year, but I've never seen a match this epic. And did you know Red is from Rutile Town just like us? Ranked coaches are the coolest. Hmm, ranked coaches, so they're akin to the gym leaders, I suppose. Yep. Years, Years later. later. Look at all those birds. I love it how neither of us have grown anything but up. Uh, I think this might actually be a you. Yeah, yeah, I suppose I can I can take over for Riley. What the heck was that? You just sat <laughs> back down on the bench? I was just going to see how long it would take before you reacted. No. You, you cannot remain here for the rest of the, the demo. Go on. Our character just looks like they're so disconnected from reality. Oh no, reality. don't tell me they're going to bulldoze the preserve. Oh wait, no, sorry. You're right. Dude! This is a beastie habitat. This spot was our entire childhood. Uh, how could you just... This is a beastie ball league project, lady. Dig it up with your league rep. I don't know anything. The, the, the beastie ball league? Snaz, this is serious. If it's about the league, you'd better go find Red. You're the assistant coach. He'll listen to you. Back in town, to the right, in the beastie ball center. Balls room. Oh, that explains why there are balls in the environment. I was wondering how these creatures evolved to play Beastie Ball, but if the balls are mushrooms... Oh, my Beastie Ball disappeared in area transition. Oh. This sign wasn't here before. Trails are closed for construction. Jumping over the barriers is an offense with a maximum fine of $2,000. Yeesh. Well. Well, you have to jump over, right? Ow. Or you can't. Oh, so how do you get back to town? Oop, nope. By can't drowning go in, the water. in the river, supposedly. Um. Okay, so not this direction. Where is town? The beasties must be so so scared. Red's got to hear about this right away. Well, uh, I guess we go this direction. Yeah, that looks like a path. Okay. Yep, here we Retile. go. Tile. Nature preserve. So there's Dan. That's a neat mosaic that they have in the middle of town. Yeah, it is. It's very pleasant. I can see myself sitting here for a while. Nope. Under the shade of this. <laughs> Hunter. <laughs> We have Raymond. Uh, that's the train station. Preserve info. Ooh. Welcome. Brutal Nature Preserve. The rock garden before you is a scale model of the nature preserve, which you can enter just ahead. This nature preserve is a vital beastie habitat and has been maintained for generations with minimal human intervention. We thank you for treating the land respectfully. Throughout the preserve, you'll find many rarely seen beasties. They are safe to observe and will tend to ignore humans. However, take care when picking any black and white mu ball mushrooms scattered around. Some beasties might take this as an invitation to play beastie ball. Only trained coaches should engage in beastie ball activities. Wow, a rare sight. Spreco pictured here is one of the rarest beasties you might find in the preserve. That's because they're an endangered species. Spreco have sticky bodies and pick up forest detritus as they move about. Different Spreco prefer to collect different berries. You can tell which is their favorite by what's stuck to their tail. Most berries they collect are for eating, but they're also known to plant some, making them nature's own little gardeners. Remember to pick up after yourself. Zoom in on the Spreco. I think we're actually getting a Spreco plush. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, sparkles are cute. So I don't know. Axolotti might have been a top contender there. <laughs> it's totally empty. Is that red? Oh boy. Uh, they actually look like red. Th yep. Is this? Uh, this is just a complete parody, right? Yep. Snags, you want to hit the ball around? Huh. Wait, kinda... wait. Don't tell me that that's their their cat creature. Uh, is maybe? it? Maybe. He huh. looks... Some kind of lead project in the nature reserve. Oh, that must be something I had no idea about. You obviously do. Ah, jeez. I didn't think it would happen this fast, but okay, it's true. The Beastie Ball League is building a stadium o over our preserve. I tried to protest it with them. We don't exactly have sway with the League these days. And whose fault is that? Maybe you are the champ years back, but... Our League standing sucks now. And that means the League does whatever it wants with us. We're in this mess because you gave up on winning. I hate to say it, but we need a new Beastie Ball coach. Someone fresh, exciting, might actually try sometimes. Such as Snaz. Snaz? They don't even have Beasties. The assistant coach? They're just a kid. Uh, rude. We're not kids anymore. Snaz and I grip around Beasties our entire lives. I know they can do this. We have to try something, right? Red? Snaz, take these. You got jerseys. Jerseys are made of something special to beasties. If a beastie accepts one from you, you'll be teammates. Not usually that simple, but, well, maybe you can find some friendly ones around. All the beasties flood the reserve when that machine came through. So you might have to go north from here. I'm sure you can find a team out there. Yeah, I ain't great like I used to be. I get it. But being a ranked coach ain't easy. You can't just waltz around with official jerseys expecting beasties to join your team just like that. I think you'll... Uh, I think you're a great kid, but in my opinion, you ain't ready yet. Shut up, not dad. I know we both used to look up to Red. And I know that he's helped you out a lot, Snaz. But you gotta admit, he's become kind of a sucky coach. Hey... It's time we took matters into our own hands. Also, you gotta admit, it would be so cool if you became a ranked coach, right? I kind of wish we had an alternate, like, idol animation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that slow run. <laughs> so determined. <laughs> yeah, so non-functional. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, this is the minimum speed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's just too funny. Uh, you know what I miss, though? Mm. The Wonder Song dance button. Oh. I miss being able to just press a button and dance uh, so I could, like, dance freely as I moved. There's something just special about that. Oh, well. I wonder what creatures we're going to encounter. Mm, let's take a look around first oh, before you start 10. handing out jerseys. So they just say number 10. Uh, ah! The beasties are restless because of the construction. They're not allowing humans through right now. Oh, they noticed your jerseys. They think you must be a coach. Looks like they might let you go in after all. I'm going to move on for now. Yeah. They're cute, but I want to see what all Please. the other creatures are. I like that bird. Yeah, the birds are cute. Oh, there's a pink and a red version. Yeah, I know. That's interesting. I don't know if it's a shiny situation. Maybe not. Yeah, because that's another red one. go back one. and grab the pink one, maybe. If it's still here. Yeah. They're looking at you intently. Oh, they don't seem too sure about that. They're wondering where the rest of your team is. Oh, that's the eye eye thing. Do you want it? No. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I was infatuated with eye eyes, but I don't know. They're a little creepy. 
Okay. I'm gonna try. And I know I shouldn't judge creatures by their appearance, but. Oh, I see. So I have to start with this one. Really? They look looking embarrassed. embarrassed. They're already on Red's team. <laughs> oh. They do have a team number. Oh. They're flattered that you asked, though. Uh, maybe you should go back and try to invite the pink one to your team. Oh, while wow, the reserve is half missing? Interesting. I'll try the pink one again. Unless because you already asked. They can't accept anymore, can they? Or no, they have an exclamation point now. Oh, they're playing together. That's cute. Uh, oh, you know what? I bet we're just supposed to keep going until we find our starter. Oh, there, yep, they, there are. they are. Oh, they're still there. This beastie looks familiar. Invite them to your team. They recognize you too. They're the same ones that played with you all those years ago. They know you're here because of the preserve. They want to team up with you. You give each of them a jersey and... Ah, oh, new recruit. Axolotty. What is its name? Vibe. Jolly. Axolot. Wait, what? Ah. Axel, I don't know. Axelon. Oh, well, he's cute. He's red. <laughs> what are you coming up with? Actual red. <laughs> it's just to rename it after the Actual coach. red? No. <laughs> Why would you do that? Better red. Red prime. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and you're using all capitals again. Uh... Red Prime. No. <laughs> Why not? Red I... Superior. Look, if you're not going to help me with these names, you're going to have to accept my horrible names. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, that's the rules. Well, so the thing is, I always come up with Names that are just, I suppose they're not becoming of cute little creatures. They're, they're too serious. They're things like Ruby Zot. and Zot. Zot. I like it. It is Zot. Okay. Nope. Yeah. Ah. Z or Zottle or... Yeah, Zottle. Edit number. <laughs> number. Oh, so you can give them a little jersey number? Yeah. Wait, can I just be number zero? Yeah. Perfect. Except now he's zero, zero, zero. This is Zottle. <laughs> what, what are their details? Uh, View details? I mean, it was just the stats. Pep shot and cheer. Mm -hmm. And Spreco. Oh, cute. Uh, let's see. What do we name this one? Sprig. Sure. That's a T. I I swear I was on the S. <laughs> there we go. Because I think that goes along with. I mean, I Spreco is probably like spring with gecko. But sprig, a sprig is a small branch, right? Mm-hmm. You're now a coach. Well, we might as well go challenge some critters to ball. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> that ball's not going to come with me. So it looks like the pink ones are just kind of a regular... Now that you have a team, running into a wild beastie like this means you want to play. Aw, oh, Brattle. Shuga. And Saffron? Alright, so we have a pep shot. Okay, ball must be served first. 
Uh, I'd probably just aim for the Shuga. Oh, they're gonna serve. They're gonna either hit it over or hit it over to the bird that's then going to try to spike down, probably, right? Yeah. Okay. Can only be used from the net. Target feels one blocked. Oh, so you could block if you're at the net. I think I'm just gonna leave it for now. Because we don't have anything else. Oh, they are serving that direction. Okay, use bump. Okay. Let's do the usual tactic. Uh, oh, wrong person. Volley. And then pep shot again to destroy the Shuga. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Kind of cute with its ears up. So they're not doing it to three points? No, I suppose not. Five three points, points? Three points might be a... Uh... And for actual matches as opposed to in the wild matches? Yeah. Oh, looks like we do sus sustain damage and keep it. Whereas mm -hmm. they do not. Okay. I'm just going to end defense. There's not much... But we are going to want to go heal. Okay. I do like the fact that the axolotl has a little head plate. So using their head to hit the shot doesn't oh, yeah. quite as painful. Okay. Volley. And then careful shot. Attack target sideways. Ooh. Ooh. And it's gonna oh, do... look at that. They used their butt. They use their butt to do what? Oh, to... Sprig, Sprig kind of used the, the side of their boot to boop. Got it. Over the edge. Oh, and then there's two Sephrons. Okay. You know, maybe the color variants kind of indicate what their abilities are? Maybe, yeah. I bet they're slightly different. I still don't know what they're doing. I think I'd rather do the like, team switch. I wonder if any of the devs played volleyball in in high school or something and went, you know what? We need a volleyball game. Yeah. I uh, So specifically, this is uh, something that uh, the, dev uh, the developer had... Oh, they've actually moved over. Oh. Ow. Nope, still wiped him out. I feel so bad for Saffron. Look at that wipeout. It's a cute wipeout, though. Oh. So extra defense and power and everything. And also, learned a new play, Refresh. I wonder if Refresh is a heal. Maybe. Uh, can I check? Ooh, that's the map. That's useful. Okay. So can I take a look? Edit number. Oh, good. So we can actually just do those. Refresh. Volley heals ally 20. Ooh, that's really useful. Mm-hmm. And then also trains. Three out of four trains allies plus one defense. Trains power. Interesting. I'll have to see how that works. So this is apparently something they had actually uh, come up with. Come mm -hmm. up with uh, on like a podcast. They had been asked like, hey, what is a game that you absolutely want to make someday? And they were just like, came up with effectively this. <laughs> They're excited to see that you have a team now, but they don't think that you're ready to play with them yet. Oh, it's got its ears down over its eyes. That's why it looks like it kind of has these bigger eyes, but it's like goggles. They're they're transparent. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. And so that's that's why they have a completely different face when their ears are popped up because of course they are. <laughs> you actually pulled a team together. Guess there's no turning back now. Oh, rank challenge versus red. Being the coach for this town was my dream come true. You want to take that from me? Well, guess I'll see you in there. Okay, but I first have to go figure out how to destroy my ankles by falling. That ruckus came from the preserve? I just ran through there this morning. The best is when beasties start running along with me, but sheesh, those beasties may not even have homes now. Okay. I don't see anything like a Poké Center here. League's taking the preserve. Guess it was bound to happen. Ain't the hotshot beastie ball town we used to be. Now we're just a loser town full of losers. Me, chief loser. <laughs> also the mayor. J 
Jackie. This is probably actually you. I okay. heard the voice earlier, but... I can't believe this. First, they showed up and cut down our preserve. Then they freaking... They freaking blocked the way out of town. That's so unnecessary. I swear. They're just trying to remind me that I can't jump. That's okay, kid. Neither can I. The best I got is a short. prance. Oh. I'm in the league. Nothing to worry about. Rutile All-Stars used to be champs. The league wouldn't mess with us. Coach Red will just come back and play a big Beastie Ball match to save the preserve. It's been so long. Oh, is Sprig actually looking at the... Yeah. Oh, wait, well, what? Howdy! Welcome to the Rail House! Rest and heal. 20 bucks. Ouch. Oh, you, that's all your money? Yup. Something wrong with your bed in the BC Ball Center? Well, if you wanna. Oh, no. no. Wanna oh. rest here for 20? Nope. See ya. So, in other words, you have a bed of your own. Yes. At the Beastie Ball Center. It's good that they reminded you. Yup. I am so glad. That is the last of my money. I am so poor. Red does not pay a salary. I'm, I suspect embezzlement. Snaz, are those beasties from the day we met? That rules. I hope you annihilate Red with the power of friendship. But before you do that, your team is restored to full health. I'll give your beasties treats any time that you give them. Oh, wait, any chance you give me. Take that service elevator down when you're ready. Red's a pretty sucky coach, sure, but if he actually loses to a total scrub like you, I just gotta see that. Break the leg. There's no way Red's taking this seriously. He could wreck your team in a millisecond. He must be humoring us. <laughs> I would just try to have fun. I've been waiting for an update from the league. But then I heard there was a match happening here. Wait, you're the one challenging to be be the head coach. Do you even ha did you even have beasties this morning? This town is nuts. <laughs> oh, I love their little emotes. Yeah, they're I, cute. This is actually like one of the highest quality monster collection game I've seen so far. I and I love the fact that yeah, they are following you and being inquisitive and stuff. That's <laughs> nice. I wonder if they evolve. This will be a tough match, no doubt about it. Red uses a powerful te uh, balanced team of powerful beasties. They've been champs before, so their levels are through the roof. I was going to offer you some advice, but I honestly have no idea. You probably don't stand a chance. Oh, no. Yeah, levels. Yeah, I was considering, like, maybe going to grind a little bit. I guess we could save. Just in case. Take the elevator up to your room. Up to your room. But his creatures are probably max level, right? Wow. It's your room. You love your hideout in the nature preserve, but this is your home. Red has let you stay in the storage area for all the years that you've been assistant coach. <laughs> which up until recently never included coaching even one actual beastie. And also isn't a real job title in the league. But Red made it, uh, Red made it, uh, made it up so you could be one. There's plenty of weird... There's plenty weird about living here, but you got used to it. I can change clothes whenever I want. Sweet. But why would I? Oh. It's so cute. Yep. Okay, yeah, I, right. I just, unfortunately, I, I can't imagine he's ah. going to be a low level. What? Even if you lose a ranked match, the story will continue and you won't lose game progress. Once you go to the locker room, you can't Turn back or change your lineup. Ready to begin? Never mind. Time to grind, I suppose. I, I really don't know how much you'd have to grind, though. <laughs> Not too much. I was going to get, like, one more level, maybe. Unless we can't. There's a very real possibility there's no beasties left. Nope, there's a couple. I'm just wondering, though. It... I suppose he was the champion, which means that he should have had max level creatures, right? Unless he's one of those gym leaders that <clears throat> got to a certain level, has to keep their creatures at a certain level, or their beasties in this case. Specifically so that they don't clobber newcomers as they're going on their own league journeys.
That one's called Rookie. Wow. That's an extendo leg for sure. Okay. Ah, ball must be passed before attacking. We also have refresh. Yeah, uh, so refresh will heal, but that will heal your ally. Yep. And Zottle is. Zottle is full healed. But here's the thing I might as well do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, stamina plus 20? Really? Yep. Oh. No way oh. I could have survived that. Wipe. So cute. Yeah, I might see if I can get multiple healing moves if I if I can manage it. Because yeah, if I can have the two repeatedly refreshing each other, that'd be nice. Okay, pep shot. Oh. Why is there a third one in the back? Oh, Are they you're cheating? Right. I I don't know, maybe it's going to cycle in. Yeah, maybe if it gets knocked out. Or not. I, I still think these are such low-level games that you, you they only afford you one point. Uh, yeah, maybe. Not that it matters too much in the moment. No, I don't want to go to the front for this, to be honest, because I take less damage. Unless, of course, they're doing a... Oof. Let's see. Not take Volley over. Oh, if you do it on the side, will it just hit the open court? Oh, no, they were able to move back in time. Yep. Okay, and then I'm going to move back before I take a bunch of damage. I, I still haven't seen anyone spike it into the first court. Uh, so Sprig can do that. Uh, and I've tried doing that a couple of times. Okay. Might as well do a refresh and then a pep shot into the empty space. Or I could do that, but instead I'm actually going to go for the guaranteed knockout. Yeah, it's so weird because with actual volleyball, you want to, yes, hit it past your opponents, but also take advantage of those empty spaces. Yes, whereas in this case, I want to take advantage of violence. Oh, inspire oh. the Saffron. But we don't have any jerseys. Uh, oh, fine. so that's how you, Get instead more. of capturing them... It's one a situation where they want to join you and your team. Yep. Which is nice. I, I do like how it's a voluntary thing. Okay, let's go back and heal. I don't know. I, I think it's rather than... It's going to be ages for you to level up, right? I, I'm really curious if it would stop me. Like, obviously, I don't have enough time for this. You didn't heal up, though, did you? Or, or you are going to heal up. Okay, very well. You took a quick snooze. You and your team are fully restored. We just waste a bunch of time and we finally get down there and Red's like just passed out and we're like, TKO? <laughs> the forest has already been destroyed. Construction <laughs> has begun the on town's the town's gone. Everybody's left. Okay, let's, let's go down. I think this is just going to be a scripted loss. You know how it Maybe. goes. Maybe. Oh, they're bouncing around with excitement. They can't wait to get out there. They don't seem bothered at all. Just another game to them. Ready to begin? Duh. Oh, there's their their cat creature. But wait, they have a third that looks like a kind of pom-pom mantis? That's oh, unless so. you have a cheerleader. Is that what the third one oh, is? Oh, could be. May the best coach win. That looks like it could be a cheerleader. They're level 50. I don't think there's much I could have done about this. <laughs> Pep shot. I am posted. Pearl. Hey, Snaz. I know my team's levels may might look scary, but BC Ball's about more than just who's strongest. In fact, you can win some games without dealing damage at all. I'll show you. Okay. 
Oh, right. I can actually check their moves. View plays. So, uh, in this case, they both do lane... Uh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah. They do lane-based attacks. And then Goldie can do lane-based attacks as well. So, you were asking about the whole spiking thing. That's what Goldie can do. Yeah. So he's making a bad play on purpose. So he loses. Easy receive. Here's the secret. You target enemy... Uh, target any attack at an empty lane. Boom. You win the point automatically. That's if they don't defend, though. But if they don't defend... Mm -hmm. Level up! Yeah, so we're going uh, best two out of three. Well, but the problem is he... One hit... Like, you can't even defend. Right? Because for you to take one of their volleys means Yeah, but we'll just get out. an easy. Okay, defense. Oh no. It's fine. Because again... Easy oh, receive. Is an easy receive? Yeah, so we're in the tutorial fight. I've already figured out these mechanics. Mm -hmm. Most targets, uh, most moves target the left or right lane, but some go sideways, like your Sprig's careful shot. Your opponent's front or back lane is open, a sideways attack could score you a free point. So you want to do a sideways on the back lane? Yep. Really? Yep. He allowed himself to lose? Because he doesn't want to win. Ah. Uh. Well, it would have been unfair, but... Oh, Sprig and Zottle have grown to really respect each other. Oh, oh! They've become partners! Oh, no! I can't believe I've lost! I oh, guess this means I've got to get up, uh, give up being the head coach. Good luck! <laughs> <laughs> rank up. Your rank. Zzz. To still bad. Is this the rank of all the people in the world? Uh, it. Eh? Snaz, you really did it! This officially makes you the head Beastie Ball coach of Rutile. I think that means your sponsor? New sponsor Rutile Town Board. Money. Playtime. Start date. Okay. Okay, you'll be sent some money anytime you win a game. Additionally, any cost for Railhouse stays in and the transit will be covered. Oh, hmm. that's nice. It's so cool, but kind of scary. Beastie Ball won't just be for fun anymore. I don't really know what all this means and what's going to happen. But whatever does happen, I'm behind you all the way. Well, if it isn't the new, if it ain't the new head coach. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, did yeah. you let me win? Did you let me win? Who won or lost, it doesn't really matter. Beastie Ball used to be fun. Whatever it is now, ain't for me anymore. You have no idea what you're in for, do you? Snaz, you ever watch sports anime? I don't uh, believe well, in anime. Oh, no. Well, first off, have we watched any sports anime? No. Unfortunately, I think the only thing vaguely close enough would have been Ultimate Muscle, which was wrestling, but the I, kind of super-powered, over-the-top, luchador-esque The closest wrestling. I've got is Yakitate Japan or, like, Air Gear. And, like, Yakitate was, I mean, that was a food competition, but it was kind of close-ish. And then Air Gear started as a rollerblading sports manga. Uh. And then it became something else very quickly. And I suppose the weird thing is, wouldn't things like Yu-Gi-Oh! have popularized card games as a sport? I suppose. But that those said, aren't sports. I those aren't my, sports. I think my favorite option here is the I don't believe in anime. Because <laughs> I, I know that for a while there were, what was it? There was definitely a oh, soccer anime. I mean, there's there Prince was of a... Tennis. There's... Yeah, soccer there's eye shield there's 
uh ice skating yeah there's been a couple of soccer there's been a lot of soccer football and baseball ones especially but no i i definitely haven't watched a sports anime anime nope. but i definitely can see why with People any kind of it. tournament system it, it's kind of that classic story it, you pretty much have things on rails you have your rivals you have your supporters you have your teammates uh and all the drama that is encompassed. Well, I guess I did watch Megalo Box. What's boxing that? counts. Oh, boxing? Yeah, it was boxing, uh, but with exosuits. Wait, with suits? Yeah. Yeah, and I suppose there was what? Other things that had tournaments? I suppose there was fighting foodons. Okay. But that was cooking. That said, we <laughs> Snaz cooking. does not believe in anime. Oh, no. Well... You best start believing in anime, kid. Because you're in one. Because you're in one. <laughs> <laughs> the league is teeming with skilled coaches all vying to raise their rank. But if you want to stop the Rutile Stadium project, you really got to get the league's attention. And that means qualifying for the Crown Series. The Crown Series, the Champions Tournament, for only the top 50 coaches. You have to go all out and beat some big names to get there. Oh, dang. Ranked coaches have been added to your map. Go and defeat them to raise your ranking. Even if you do everything right, the chances of this working are... Well, whatever, it's your life. Take these with you. You got jerseys. These will be the last ones you get for free. <laughs> Good luck out there. You'll need it. That's the end of demo. Thanks for playing. When the full game releases, you'll be able to continue from this save file. Hey, we probably will start over anyway. <laughs> uh, feel free to continue exploring the demo area and playing with nearby beasties. Also got a regular newsletter for dev updates. No thanks, already have it. Can I buy oh. more? Buy items. Snacks, bars, water, electrolytes. Attract uh, spraying. Here's sweaty. Revives wipes. Track spray. Lure, lures Lure out, out rarer, rare, stronger, stronger beasties. Ooh. And the stinky spray. <laughs> Okay. Lowers the level of wild, wild beasties. That's cool. I think I'm just going to go for a regular one, but luring out rares might be kind of cool. I guess let's do one more battle before we go, just... Because? Oh! What are they up to? Being what cute. Oh! You learned how to jump. <laughs> you learned how to jump. <laughs> okay. Ooh, and we actually have people here. Bye. What an absolutely adorable game. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a combo. Ball must be served first, though. But we have it as well, an option. Well, because I, I... One thing that was always uh, an issue with pretty much any monster game was the fact that you are having these creatures fight one another, harm one another, poison one another, burn one another. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I do feel bad about the creatures falling flat on their face and they must have HP of some sort but is the HP more of a not so much their health but their ability to counter the balls is it more of a stamina thing I I, I don't know Ooh, Bolly extra power to ally or extra stats to ally power to active team clears negative feelings from ally and heals ally 25 Oh, yeah, I do see that the creatures as they're playing have different feelings. That's it. I'm just going to do excited pass. Oh, so they're excited, and then they seem to be contented. Sprig? Yeah. Oops. Oh. So the other one's disappointed, and... Yep. Yeah, I have noticed that emotions were an integral part of this. Interesting. Lure shot. Yeah, so lure shot shifts target to front row after hitting. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of call out for the time being. Mm -hmm. And we, add, we actually do get some money. Not much, but we get an amount of money even from fighting just random critters out in the wild. That's super nice. Uh, let's see. No, we can't. We can't do a volley to start with. 
obviously didn't want to jump over one of the fences and see if there were new creatures. Um, I could. I just don't know how much it matters, mm -hmm. at least at the moment. Like, for me, I, I don't want... this game will have a multiplayer where... Yes, it does. Oh. It, it does have an online multi multiplayer. When we were making our character and choosing our name, it specifically said, ah, uh, when your team has a ball, you have three actions to work with. You should use all three as often as possible. Beasties who don't have the ball can use support actions, too. Ah. Oh. Okay. So let's just do that. <laughs> so shifts target to front row after hitting. Combo is filled out. I don't know. Anyway, uh, ball of destruction. You ball. cannot stop this. Wait, ball of destruction? It, it was going to do like over 100 damage. Like there's um. no surviving the combo ball of destruction. That was just a nickname for it. I see. Yeah. Are you by any chance a beastie ball coach? Hi, I work at the Beastie Research Society. We're biologists who study all sorts of cool beastie stuff. Yeah, I say we, but I'm still just a student. <laughs> anyway, one of the goals of the BRS is to partner with coaches. After all, beasties only show their true potential in sports, so we kind of need you. Can you do me a favor? I want you to start a match with one of the beasties here that so I can see. I suppose we could do one more. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll watch from over here. But before you get started, download this to your phone. You installed the Beastopedia. That widget is super useful. You'll see once you play a bit. Okay. Cap shot. Oh, boy. We're starting to get too strong for this poor Shuga. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's using its tail, too. Oh. See that? The Beastopedia automatically collects research on beasties just by playing with them. Automagically. Automagically. Sorry, not automatically. Automagically. And when you fill up a beasties research meter, you reveal the recruit condition. Ooh. A beasties recruit condition tells you what you need to do to make them want to join you. That's how you can grow your team. That's useful. Okay, uh, uh, we have to fill our combo meter first. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we could have actually just done cheer instead. You know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Wait, why? What was Sprig's expression? I couldn't tell. Oh, could not have done that. I apparently, uh, I couldn't do that. All right, whatever. Die, Shuga. Uh oh, what was wrong with that expression? Angry. Oh no! <laughs> a feeling like angry is a temporary status effect. It can be good or bad. It's a very bad. complicated visual, facial oh. expression. Oh. It counts down with each turn and wears off when the count reaches zero. Will the anger counter two go away or will it remain? Yeah, it'll them? probably go away. Looks like you won. That must mean that you're pretty good, right? Right? Sports? Tell you what. How would you like to be sponsored by the BRS? New sponsor, BC Research Society. Yeah, you're now sponsored by the BC Research Society. You'll be sent some money for completing research on BCs. Hey, so completed for research, gained two bucks. They pay a lot more supposed to give sponsorships out that much. But I don't know. I have a good feeling about you. So I should say that you can't complete your Beastopedia right now. I think if you try really hard, you could complete research on maybe six beasties. But that's about everything you can do in this demo. I cannot wait to play more of this. I think I'm going to stop here just because. Yeah. I'm really curious to see how a lot of these functions work. Like, what's the online portion going to be? Is it just um, going to be a versus? Or if it's going to be a versus, can you trade with people? Uh, mm -hmm. It'd be kind of fun if you could actually, like, go full co-op. I mean, that's super unlikely. <laughs> but, like, it would be really nice if you and I both could have kind of a beastie. Oh. Was that this? was the number 10. Oh. Oh, no. 
Ah, BC coaches want to challenge you. If you want to pass through here, you have to win a match. I guess we're just going to fight them as well. But yeah, like I, like I said earlier, I'm super jazzed about the idea of a monster collection RPG that is not strictly violent. I mean, yeah, we're still causing them to wipe out and stuff. Hey. Only unnumbered BCs are recruitable. Land a free point. So their semi-transparent ears shield their eyes from wind as they glide. They feel safest in large groups, especially with watchful Saffron. Oh. Okay, so let's end. Oh, even the nuts made of mushrooms. Oh yeah, so it is. And they have the weird mushroom film that you see with some varieties of mushrooms. It's all very organic. Okay, careful shot. Try not to go for knockout. I was never much of a... I mean, my cousins played volleyball, but I was definitely more of a badminton person. Yeah. I think it's because I enjoy using a rack. Um, a racket? Or what would you call a badminton racket? Is it still a racket? I, I think I prefer using those rather than my own arms because you could get bruises yeah. all up and down your arms, you know? I didn't have that problem as much. Eh, well then again, you have beefy arms. To recruit, use two support plays, but neither of these are recruitable. Building mimicry can even learn human words. They especially favor sounds. They get a rise out of others. Oh, that's cute. I don't know. I... Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. That's some money right there. Yep. Oh, because there were number of beasties, we get more. Of course. Well, anyway... I look forward to playing this. I would love to see multiplayer, but I also recognize that maybe that wouldn't actually be that important and would slow things down. I want to see the beasties again. Uh, the ones we've got? Yeah. They're, oh, yeah, there they are. They were just kind of there stuck. They They're so cute. Axolotti is adorable. Mm -hmm. Um, Hopefully this comes out on PC and Switch almost simultaneously. I think it's coming out on multiple platforms because I think it would be super fun to potentially play this with like with you simultaneously because mm -hmm. we used to do that with uh x and y and some of the prior pokemon games i guess we started to with uh scarlet violet but i kind of dipped off on that one because the performance was ick whereas I completed it, though. this one looks gorgeous i mean this map is pretty large if this is what we have access to i like the fact that you do oh, have yeah. the map and the root tile area definitely a little bit more dry but i'm wondering what other regions they have can you look up and around because there has to be a four. Mythwood, oh, yeah, the Mythwood. Geocity, Chroma C, and then something else. Geocity, Chroma C. Yeah. Yeah, so, I don't know. One way or another, super positive about this one. Uh, I kickstarted it without even looking, and I'm not regretting that in the slightest already. Uh, because this is everything I want and more than I didn't expect. So, for now at least, uh, if you guys liked this video in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because we got tons to check out and show off. But for now, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.